paint in the first quarter. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, no defense on the ball, uh, no defense off the ball. Uh, weak side help was not there. Uh, that was the more, they were the more physical, more aggressive team uh, from start to finish tonight. Yeah. Yeah, Nate, following that up, how do you explain the, deep, the lack of defense in the middle of the paint? I can't. <laughs> I can't. You know, um, you know I, I, what I what I said to our guys before the game. The team that has been the, the more aggressive team to start the game has won every game in this series, and uh, this was a very similar game uh, to the game that we played here, where they just they, they came out uh, very aggressive after losing uh, their game. We came out aggressive after dropping a game at home and uh, a very similar uh, game. So, you know, we, we knew that they were going to come with that sense of urgency uh, tonight. They were going to continue to attack even without Giannis uh, in the lineup. That's just how they play. Uh, we knew that they would uh, look to go to uh, Lopez more, and they did. And they, they just dominated uh, the paint tonight. There. I feel like Boogie stepped up a little bit tonight with Trey not out there. Well, it's just, I mean, I, we, we as a team, a group, didn't play well. Uh, and again, it just started at the beginning of the game. I mean, you know, basically, uh, I don't know how many misses they had in that first quarter, but uh, even on the misses, they rebounded the ball. You know, they beat us to uh, beat us to the glass. So they just dominated uh, that first quarter with attacking uh, the paint. And, you know, so individually, um, we, we as a group did not play well enough tonight. Chris? This might be a dumb question, but I mean, you talk about the lack of aggression. Is, is there a way to coach that out of a group to get that, you know, to play out on the floor? I mean, uh, we, we talked about that before the game. Mm -hmm. We knew the uh, pivotal game five, you know, is what we talked about. and. Uh, they came out and they they punched us uh, hard early, and we just never uh, recovered. We played on our heels uh, pretty much really that entire uh, first quarter. Uh, we're, we're not the aggressors, and uh, we needed to be uh, that group that was uh, that hit first uh, in this game tonight. Uh, Nate, obviously you talked a bunch about both their success in the paint, Brooks in particular. Besides the lack of aggression that uh, you guys would have liked to have seen from your team, what else did the Bucks do to be able to particularly get Brooke going in the way that they did? They, they, they played their game, you know. Um, they attacked the paint. You know, they, it went, if, when, if Giannis is in the game, he attacks the paint. Uh, you know, tonight, uh, you know, all of them were attacking the, the paint. It was... Uh, Drew, it was uh, Middleton, you know, Lopez, uh, post up, uh, seal, you know, they attack the paint. That's their game. They they want to play from the inside out and uh, they force you to, uh, if you don't guard the paint, uh, uh, they will punish you in the paint. And if you uh, are taking away the paint, they kick it out for threes. You know, that's their game. And, uh, you know, last night, I mean, so our last game uh, in Atlanta was our best game of guarding the paint, only 44 points in the paint. But, uh, you know, all the games before that, I think they had 66, 57, 58 points in the paint. And tonight they finished with 66 points in the paint. So, uh, again, we did not do a good job of uh, defending the ball. And our weak side uh, did not do a good job of coming over and giving help. Jeff Schultz, your team has played some of its best games this year. What was that? Your team has played some of its best games this year ever after everybody thought you were dead, whether it's a regular season or playoffs. Is that sort of what you have to count on right now? It is. I mean, I mean, basically, uh, you know, it, it is a, a must-win game for us. You know, that's what it comes down to. Uh, that's what this game uh, means uh, if you drop it, as we did. Um, tonight, and uh, it's a must win for us. You know, so it's, it's a one game season um, for us. Uh, so we know what we have to do. And, you know, we got to get back home and uh, get ourselves uh, ready 
uh, to take care of business at home. Sarah? Did you feel like, I know Clint has that eye thing going on. Did you feel like he was limited maybe visually out, out there at all? Uh, no, you know, our guys, we, we talk to our guys about uh, injuries uh, before the game. And if they are out there, you know, they're able to go. He didn't, he didn't say anything about uh, his eye um, tonight. So uh, I'm assuming that he was okay. Let's go to Doom and Zach Klein. Coach, you mentioned the physicality, the only the pain, getting hit in the mouth. Um, do you think your guys were just soft tonight? We, we, I, I said what I said, you know, uh, you can use whatever term you want uh, on that. Our guys, they were a more physical team uh, tonight. They were the more aggressive team uh, tonight. And uh, again, we did not do a good job of, of guarding the ball, uh, guarding our paint, um, rebounding the basketball. And, you know, with, with that punch early, uh, we've really, they really just established uh, their game tonight. And how do you expect them to respond? I expect us to respond. You know, it's, it's do or die now. Steve Hummer. Yeah, Nate, what, what will be necessary to, uh, to get a little bit back of uh, control of the paint in the next game? Guard. I mean, it's, it's just simple. It's not, this is not complicated. I mean, we, we, we guarded last game. Uh, we we got to guard the ball. You know, we have to be the aggressors. Uh, that's what this game is all about. We've been able to do that uh, in, in two of our games, uh, you know, to, uh, uh, to, to win. And um, that's what it comes down to. You got to guard. You got to put the ball in the basket. So it's not, it's, it's, there's no, 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 uh, tricks or anything uh, that's needed. Uh, we got, you got to be the aggressors. You got to be the team that execute uh, for 48 minutes and, and do what they did uh, tonight. We, we've done that before. Uh, so uh, we know, you know, exactly where we are. Mark Bradley. Carry you. All right, give, sorry, given that Trey Young has been uh, questionable for two games but was able to work out before the game tonight, do you feel like he's he's trending in the right direction to be ready for game six? Well, he, he felt a little better but not good enough to play. Uh, he will, I'm assuming, still be a game-time decision uh, on Saturday. Thank you. McLean Baxley. This is the first time in these playoffs that this team has been down uh, in a series and, you know, and, and now in an elimination game. How does, how does that change the mindset and uh, preparation the next two days, you know, in practices and in meetings, uh, you, you go into game six? We're prepared as, you know, as we've always done. You know, we dropped this game. We weren't good in this game. We'll look at video of uh, the things that they did, uh, the things that uh, we didn't do, and uh, areas we need to improve on. And get ourselves ready uh, for the game. You know, it's, it's win or go home for us uh, now. And uh, so, you know, it really doesn't change much. Uh, when, when you drop a game, uh, you find uh, things that you need or areas that you need to correct and be better. And that's what we'll do uh, tomorrow. The last two will come from Davide and then Leonardo. Hey, Coach, uh, can you find any positive on this game? Maybe something you can build on going to the game six? Uh, not right now. You know, I have to look at video and look at this game over and uh, try to find something. But, uh, you know, the start, we knew uh, that this is one of the top teams in the league as far as uh, how they start the first and third quarter. Uh, uh, that was part of the game plan that we needed to get off to good starts against this team. Uh, at the start of the playoff of these playoffs, and uh, we didn't again tonight. And uh, they pretty much just dominated uh, that first quarter. Thirty-six points in in the quarter, twenty-eight points uh, in the paint. I think they had seven offensive rebounds. It's just totally getting dominated, and uh, they established uh, what they were uh, going to try to do tonight. And uh, we never uh, really recovered from it. 
Final question from Leonardo. Hi, coach. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hope you're well. Coach, they scored 66 points in the paint and, and you had 14 turnovers. Do you think those were the keys of the game tonight? Okay, they, uh, I didn't hear the last part. Yes. What's that? Yes, those were the keys of the game. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, that's always a key uh, for us is to defend the paint and, uh, you know, keep the ball in front. Uh, you know, rebound the basketball. Those are always uh, keys uh, to the game for us. And uh, we didn't do a good job, uh, or a job at all uh, tonight of uh, doing that. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.